Okay, let's get into this video that was inspired by a video that was just put up today by Vinyl Richie and he was showing punk rock records and wild, I guess wild rock and roll records uh, from the 70s and he was showing a lot of comps and I thought I would show some of my greatest compilation records. Here we go. Um, this isn't even close to what I have, but these are the ones that I think are the best. This is rap music for rap people. And I guess this thing came with an insert that I don't have with this one. Um, which is too bad, but anyway, maybe if I get some money I'll order the one with the insert. But this thing has the Dead Kennedys, Black Flag, the Avengers. Well, wait a minute, why am I reading it to you? You can see it right there. Um, uh, this thing is the best. It has a um, Dead Kennedys, I guess, recording from a live show, and they're doing the song, can't believe I forgot this. They're doing the song Forward to Death and I Am the Owl. The I Am the Owl song from the Plastic Surgery Disasters record, and it's just the best. Um, it's got Bad Brains, Crucifix. It's one of the best punk rock comps ever. Also, this is one of the best punk rock comps ever. It's got The Exploited, The Addicts, Chaos UK, Disorder, The Business, The Vibrators, The Damned, One Way System, The Angelic Upstarts, Vice Squad. It's got the song on it by The Exploited, uh, Fuck the USA. It's just definitely a must have and it is a soundtrack from a video called UK DK. And I used to have this on VHS tape, and the video is, uh, well, let's put it this way. The highlight of the video is Chaos UK, The Exploited, The Addicts, The Vibrators, The Damned, One Way System, The Varkers, Angelic Upstarts. Okay, I guess the whole video to this soundtrack is worth seeking out. Um, I'm sure it's available on DVD somewhere. Let's go to San Francisco for our next comp. <coughs> Excuse me, this is the Eastern Front with DOA, The Offs, Toiling Midgets, Warzone, Tanks, The Wounds, The Lude, TSOL, Flipper. And this copy does, I, I think, include all the extra bits which is this book the eastern front the back of it destroy tradition doa um one of the greatest bands ever they get no respect as far as audience turnout and that's really sad but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go see DOA. Anyway, this compilation is really good. Um, it's recordings from, I guess, a two-day fest that they had in San Francisco many, many years ago called the Eastern Front. And I wish I could have went, but I was born in the wrong place at the wrong time to be able to go to something like this. All right, here we go. This is the decline of the Western civilization. I'm not going to say anything more about this. You already know that it is, it is the best compilation ever for a young kid in 1981 getting into punk rock. Okay, this one is from the Rhino Brothers, and it's the World's Worst Records. And this copy has the barf bag still attached. 
and this thing has got barns and barns um, from the fish heads fame it's got wild man fisher it's got the breakers um, it's got the turtles um, it's got Heathen Dan, Jimmy Cross, Edith Massey from the John Waters films, the Novas, the legendary Stardust Cowboy. Um, this thing is a must-have for anybody that is digging the Dr. Demento sound. All right, this one is <coughs> Gospel Tunes from the Bowels of Texas. And this thing's got Bobby Sox and the Teenage Queers. It's got the Sillies, Pumpin' Ethel, um, Free Bleeder, The Pervs, Sad Pygmy, Ario Speed Dealer, and the Fuck Emos. And it is a must have. It's called Satanic Toaster Ovens, Steers Queers, 666, compilation of great. Very aggressive, strange, Texas hardcore. All right, here's this thing. Let's take it apart for you. Um, this is hard to beat. An Australian compilation, 21 Stooges Killers. And this thing's got a ton of bands on it. Um, the Hard-Ons, The Hellmen, um, No Man's Land, the Psychotic Turnbuckles, Raw Power, um, Exploding White Mice, Celibate Rifles. This is a two album set. Comes with this booklet that tells all about all of the bands on this compilation of cover songs from Iggy and the Stooges. And this record is not a letdown. And it shouldn't be that financially abusive to obtain. So if you're into Iggy Pop and the Stooges, then this LP is for you. <clears throat> All right, this one is The End of Night, 1976, 1983. Um, uh, Detroit compilation of bands that were wild and different in the early 80s and late 70s. All right, this compilation is a bunch of bands doing covers of the Buzzcocks. And the bands on this thing are the Doughboys, the Fluid, Coffin Break, the Digits, Electric Love Hogs, Lunachicks, um, Big Drill Car, um, The Accused, uh, the, the Perfect Alice Donut, Naked, uh, Naked Ray Gun, doing Love Battery. This thing is worth the 20 bucks, you'll pay for it. This is such an exciting compilation album of bands doing songs by the almighty Buzzcocks. Okay, this one is Hell Comes to Your House. This is a compilation of Southern California bands like 45 Grave, Christian Death, 100 Flowers, Rhino 39, Super Herons, the Conservatives, Secret Hate, Modern Warfare, Red Cross, Legal Weapon, and Social Distortion. The Social Distortion songs on this are different from, I guess, the official releases. They're almost like demos. Um, there's only two of them, and they're called Lewd Boy and Telling Them, and they're just they're the best. The 45 Grave songs are Evil, um, Concerned Citizen, and 45 Grave. Again, different versions from what you have on your official releases and definitely worth picking up. Hell comes to your house. 
All right, here comes the almighty. This, I have to admit, this is the almighty of compilation albums. This is going to take a little unpacking. This is the Peace, War, or I should say Peace, War, Comp. This thing has so many good songs on it, they can't even be listed, but somehow, between these two LPs, they are in this great little booklet that came with the LP. That tells about every band on it, every song, and here's a newer version of the booklet. And this thing has more bands on it than can be listed. And almost every song on this thing will stick with you forever. I really wish they would re-release this thing in vinyl form. They've re-released it. You know, the guy from Millions of Dead Cops, Dave Dictator, he was the dude behind this whole project. And he re-released it on a CD. And the funny thing about that CD is it has skips in it, meaning he took the, I guess, the audio from a vinyl record of this thing. And when the vinyl record started skipping, I guess he just nudged the needle along, and that comes out on the CD. And also, my copy of this also has skips in it. Anyway, skips or no... I would tell you all the bands on this compilation, but there are too many of them to name. All I have to say is if you see this in your record store and they want like 50 bucks for it, go ahead and get out your ATM card. It's definitely worth it. This is one of the greatest punk rock comps ever. All right, let's pack this thing in. the cover but whatever I can't help that the Peace War comp it's also mentioned in a no effect song and this has got all the early 80s punk rock bands on it and when I say all you can take that to the bank all okay here is a danger house compilation with the eyes, the bags, the randoms, the weirdos, the dills, the alley cats, Howard Worth, the Avengers, Black Randy and the Metro Squad doing trouble at the cup, the Deadbeats singing Let's Shoot Maria, um, Rhino 39 X singing Los Angeles. Um, this also is a must have. Danger House, Volume 1. I couldn't live without it. And in the same, I guess, vein is this one. This is What Records and a compilation from What Records, which was a very early Southern California um, record label. And this one's got The Dills, Chaos, Untold Fables, The Eyes, The Skulls, The Controllers, The Germs. And the standout on this compilation LP is the eyes. 
It has the eyes, which I guess a couple of members of the eyes went on to be the Go-Go's. It has Don't Talk to Me and Kill Your Parents. Those two songs right there are worth picking this up. Um, it, it's got the very common forming and sex boy um, by the germs. So the germs aren't really the reason to get this thing. Uh, the reason to get this thing is for the eyes and the skulls. The skulls do victims and on target. The controllers do neutron bomb and killer queers. There you go. Okay, this one is a San Francisco early 80s compilation called Live at Target, February 24th, 1980. It's got Flipper, Nervous Gender, Fatrix, and UNS. This thing is very, very strange. It's kind of a noise thing, but the, um, I guess the spoken word on this it has to be heard to believe. So, live at Target, February 24th, 1980, compilation. On Subterranean Records. Alright, here's this monster that's worth unpacking. <clears throat> this is Hangover Heart Attack, a tribute to the band Poison Idea from Portland, Oregon. This thing... And here's the little fold out with it. Is a bunch of bands, I think, from Europe? Yeah, I, I think it's a bunch of bands from Europe doing Poison Idea songs. And all I've got to say about this thing is the bands that are paying tribute to Poison Idea on this record they're almost as good as the original versions of these songs by Poison Idea. Believe it or not. I can't say enough great things about this compilation. Here, get in there. Getting stuck inside these jackets can sometimes be kind of hard. Anyway, this thing <clears throat> is just as good as any Poison Idea record. And I say that without hesitation. Hangover Heart Attack, a tribute to Poison Idea, is definitely worth picking up. If you're into Poison Idea, if you're not into Poison Idea, don't buy this thing. All right, here we go. Sticking with the Pacific Northwest, here is another damned Seattle compilation. And this is a Northwest tribute to the dam. It's got Coffin Break, Skin Yard, Gas Huffer, The Accused, The Mighty Accused, Freak, Flop, um, Mud Honey, The Posies, Big Satan Incorporated, The Fastbacks, The Young Fresh Fellows, all doing songs by the damned, and they do a very, very good job. Uh, this record is definitely worth picking up, and it is on Musical Tragedies out of Germany. All right, we're heading back to San Francisco, and this is Not So Quiet on the Western Front, and probably anybody watching this channel is going to know all about this record. It's got everybody. I don't even need to go into this thing. You probably already have it. And the reissue of it is just as good as the original as far as what's in it, like the booklet and stuff like that. All right. Staying in San Francisco is Let Him Eat Jelly Beans. And again, you all know about this. I don't even need to bring it up as far as describing what's on this monster of a release. Here's one I may have to describe. This one's a little more obscure. This is called Feel Lucky Punk. Um, the album jacket is kind of pathetic. 
but what this record sounds like after maybe you should make a new jacket for it is out of sight. This thing has got the queers, the psychosurgeons, nervous eaters, um, Hollywood Squares, The Lewd, um, The Mad, Unnatural Acts, Nerve, um, Freestone, Nasal Boys, Leftovers, Child Molesters. This is one of the best compilations that I have in my collection. I'm so sorry the record jacket looks the way it does. Um, this is on... Um, geez, it doesn't even say. Didn't even say what record label this is on. Let's see. Nope. It's almost like a bootleg type situation. No record label. But every single song on this compilation is the funnest thing, the craziest thing you've ever heard. All right, we're winding down. This is Burning Ambitions, A History of Punk. This thing's got the Buzzcocks, the Fall, Wire, the 101ers, the Adverts, Dave Goodman and Friends, Slaughter and the Dogs, the Stranglers, Generation X, the Vibrators, X-Ray Specs, Swell Maps, Eater, the Lurkers, the Heartbreakers, Adam and the Ants, The Damned, The Boomtown Rats, The Ruts, Sham 69, UK Subs, Cockney Rejects, Killing Joke, Annie Pasties, Dead Kennedys, The Exploited, The Business, GBH, Disorder, Attila the Stockbroker, again, Double LP, definitely worth buying to get you into... <coughs> all the great bands that are on this thing. All right. Here's another masterpiece. This is Dr. Demento presents the greatest novelty records of all time, the 70s. This thing's got Short People by Randy Newman, Junk Food Junkie by Larry Gross, my Bologna by Weird Al Yankovic, Fish Heads by Barnes and Barnes, um, Pencil Neck Geek by Fred Blassie, Time Warp, Rocky Horror Picture Show Song, King Tut by Steve Martin, Earache My Eye by Alice, no, Earache My Eye featuring Alice Bowie, done by the fabulous Cheech and Chong, and The Standout. Oh, well, I guess the two standouts to this record are Dead Puppies and My Dead Dog Rover. This thing is definitely worth seeking out. Great, crazy, fun Dr. Demento songs. All right, here's the last one. And this one also is in praise of Hollywood, California, the Hollywood punk rock scene. Okay, and this is a tribute to the Go-Go's. And it's got the Cobra Skulls, um, Gateway District, Mask Intruder, Dan Vapid and the Cheats, the Hot Toddies, um, the Blast, Mighty Fine, Vacation Bible School, um, Great Apes, Street Eaters, and Beretta, the Shell Corporation, and... They all do a great, I guess, job of covering songs by the Go-Go's. And the copy that I have, clear vinyl, pink vinyl, blue-green vinyl, um, yeah, pink vinyl, and test pressing. All the records have you know, all the same songs, but these are all the different variants of this tribute to the Go-Go's, which is definitely worth seeking out. Let's see if I can find... Yeah, it's by Solidarity Recordings.
and it's really fun to hear what these people do with go-go songs. Let's put it back in the box, and those are some of my favorite compilation records. And if I had to pick a favorite out of all of them, ah, get over there. I'd have to pick this one. The Dr. Demento. Um, the, the song Dead Dog Rover, Dead Puppies, Short People, Junk Food Junkie, My Bologna, Pencil Net Geek. It's out of sight. So this would be my number one, Dr. Demento. Okay, that's it. For now, I'm going to get on to another video that involves Kiss. Alright, see you in a little bit.